Glenn, while I'm... Oh, you can't do that. What a dumb man. Oh, no, but what a dummy. I was saying, Glenn, I'm, why... What did you just say? I was, what I was going to say was, hey, while I'm catching these fish... Why you, didn't you catch him by yourself? I was going to say, I was going to say, can you run over and get me Tamla's two nets? And then I said to myself, well, if you do that, how are you going to say I'm film this? Because I'd like to check the exos. I mean, catch them while we're at it. Hey everybody, uh, welcome Hi. back to Florida Exotic Fish Sales. We just getting started again after the holidays. Hope everybody had a happy holiday season. Um, we've been working, of course, because fish farm never slows down, but we're gonna take you around today and do some of the catching we have to do. This is how, this is my list of things I have to catch. So we're gonna run around and do a little bit of that. And then we'll let you follow Taylor around doing some of her tank. She does the Tanganyikans and stuff. So we'll what we're gonna- some of those. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is head out over to this area over here. So we'll probably be catching, I'll be catching four or five types of fish. Get that dragonfly out of That's here. That's a wasp. Was it a wasp? Was it a wasp? There's, yes. There's, there's a huge nest over at the hatchery, it's crazy. Well, um, it's a beautiful day. Well, compared to the weather we've had today, it's, been, it's a beautiful day. Uh, but you, I see you guys up north are in the zeros. But anyway. Uh, we feel sad for you guys. Oh yeah. <laughs> But anyway, we're heading out. Um, what was that, Bureau? <laughs> well, you know, I guess I feel sad. Let me see my sad face. I'm just glad I'm here. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, we're heading out to uh, Lennon's going to follow me around a bit. When we get over here to get, we got to catch some finos. I'll probably have Tamla help me pull the net. But here we go. So hope you enjoy it. See you later. Hey, everybody out here starting to catch some fish. Um, the way we do it, everybody gets a list like this. And it's just the name of the fish we got to catch, the how to put them in the warehouse, who on what row, and then we come out here grab it. I'm out here right now to get ten assorted trophies, two and a half inch for FB. So they're in here. Um, I hope my glasses don't fall apart. They're broken. I dropped them the other day. But anyway, so in, in here. Now these trophies started out small. Assort, we, we assort them. We put, probably was in here, Chimba, Icolas, Du Boises. And then we sold out, you know, we'd be selling, selling, selling out of it. So these guys grew. <clears throat> so he wants 10 of them. And this is what I'm, size I'm gonna give him. It's a little Chimba. So that's one, these are two Icolas, two, three. Okay, here's, a, here's a, another uh, chimba. No, I'm sorry, I call it four. Okay, I'm trying to get him a variety. Five. The Du Boises are a little bit bigger, but that's okay. Six. Here's a Du Boise. Seven. See, I can count and talk at the same time, but I'll have, probably have to recount. Eight, nine. Okay. Another Du Bois, 10. And we always do a free one. Here's a, I don't know what this guy's doing in here. This is a sip of some kind. That's a big one. Yeah, I think what was left over in the tank and I just dumped it over here. So now that's there. Right next door, I'm gonna be looking for Helianthus large and smalls. I'm not sure if I've got the smalls in there. I may have to go to my breeder tank to get them, but we'll see. And these are going to 10, let's see, 10 Helianthus, Helianthus. Oh, 10 and six, two different guys. So this tank, it's kind of a, what we'll do is we'll go through the breeders and move the smalls out and then any big ones, the breeders are really over there. And then we'll move out excess breeders, uh, big ones, so the other ones can um, have a chance to breed and the, and the medium size Helianthus, etc., won't 
be eating the babies. So now you can see in here, we got a, this is, there are pipes there. Normally I don't put pipes, but there are because of, there's just a bunch of types of fish. Um, so anyway, we're looking, this is here, like for example, here's a, here's a big boops. Some people call them boops. We like boops. Yeah, we like boops, Betty boops. This is a, um, gosh, I, I can't, my brain just died, but anyway. Um, and here's also some leftover zonatums, which I'm not breeding anymore. It's just not a great breeder. I'll sell them to somebody as, as uh, just get them out of here as a little male. But anyway, this is a, these are the large helianthus. So I'm gonna get six of those. We've got lilupies in here. Like you could see, this is a catch-all tank. Okay, one. Two, three, four, five. And I think we're gonna have, um, I see the smaller ones. <clears throat> yeah, I think I we're think gonna have the we'll smaller have, ones. We need uh, 10? 10? Yeah, 10. Okay, here's, these are, these are masked brichardies, helianthus, cool fish. One, two. Extra big one. Three, four, five, six. All right, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One of my next videos is going to be. We're going to take you around feeding because I still have people sending us notes saying you don't really feed extreme 1.5 to everything on your farm, do you? And I'm going to say, yeah, I do. And even in my trophies, I had a nice guy call me yesterday freaking out because he can't believe that you can feed that to my trophies. And I said, yeah. And he says, I'm having a little problem with my fish. They're bloating up. And I said, you're overfeeding. Stop it. I said, you love feeding them? He said, correct. And I said, so when you're feeding them, what are you doing? He said, feeding a lot. And I said, well, stop it. I told him to salt his tank and Metro Flake. Glenn, will you carry that one bucket? So yep. now we carry him to the warehouse. And we get in there. I'll show you what we do. Slippery here, Glenn. These are our sips that we brought in wild. And I'm hoping to come out here and check them for the first time. They're looking good. I mean, they're fat. They may not have bred yet, but we'll see. So here we go into the warehouse with our buckets. And what we do is, okay, this, these rows are all marked out. FB, FB, F, you know, FB, FB. So we're gonna go to those rows. FB got the sorted trophies and the small helianthus. So we're gonna take them over here. Put them here. Oh, wait, why, why is that there? Who put that there? Well, Tim, you know, yeah. she reserved that tank. What? Those were uh, fire fin. That's going to be a reserve tank for Tamron. Oh, well then she got to put it on the right row. Oh, I, I, you know, I've tried so hard to teach her how to do things right. I hope she's not going to watch this video. I have to pay the for that. So those are there. And then these are sort of trophies. I'm going to put down the line here, right here. And so, when the guys go to, they're going to get a they're going to get a pack sheet, and by that I mean, I don't see one in here, but it's going to say where every fish goes, and bags. This is a pack sheet. So when they come here, this is not for this order, but when they come here. The, these, it says a one, that's a full, those are full bags. 
These are six bags, quarter bags, any special instructions, half bags. So then we add them all up, 14 fulls, three halves, 30 quarter, 29, six bags. Then we could figure out the, the pack. These were going into double boxes, so that's why it's 16. But that's what they'll have later on today to set up. Now I'm gonna to go to DA row with these large helianthus. And I'm, not only am I gonna dump them, but I'm going to put a bucket in the tank for them. Uh, nothing on this row. You know where you're going, Bureau? Well, we got so many fish in the warehouse here that I'm, you know, stupid. I, I don't want to mess up. Okay, now these are, I'm putting that bucket in there so that these fish can run around them and they won't be, you know, looking at some, each other until they get packed tomorrow. These are the big helianthus. And they'll run around that buck if anybody goes after them, they'll go hide. Then over here, by the way, over here, we just got these in Tuesday. I don't know if you can see them. These are Utenta Sips. Wild, wild Utenta Sips. So they came in great. They're nice and chubby and they do that hang down motion. That's how they live. There's a nice male with a yellow tail. So I'm gonna move them out, get them breathing. Okay, we're gonna head to another area. Hey, um, we're heading out here. I think Tam was over here in her area working. Maybe. Yep, there she is down there. Nice view. Hey, babe, we're filming you. Anyway, she's been catching fish. These are her six fire fins, compressed set, two and a quarter inch. So we're heading over here and we're going to, I'm gonna have Rigo help me um, snag the phenos, phenokylas. So I need seven or no five. So let me just have one bucket, Glenn. Rigo, um, you ch you do the chasing, and I'll meet you over here. Okay. All right. Just start coming around. I only need five, Rigo. So when we think we got five in, I'll go up. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, perfect. Now just put yours in with me, please. And you can go back with Salvador. Salvador, uh, Rigo catches with Salvador. My list usually is um, this long, my list. These guys' lists is this long because they're catch fish out of their area where they are and it's usually the most of the fish all the peacocks are thanks Rigo right, so anyway I'm looking for five fish and these are you know Kylas four four they're probably a little bit bigger than four and a half but anyway let's d define for us what uh, uh, what we feel is a good marketable fish. What attributes are you looking for? Well, this is a, this is a high-end popular fish. This is the one we showed you pictures of that get the spots on them that, that um, when they get bigger. The checkerboards, yeah. Yes, this is something that we Chips. don't hardly ever have because we can't get them up to size. We're gonna get, um, we, because we sell them so fast. So it's unusual for me to have these. I had 20 of them in, well, I don't know how many I had in here, but almost all of them are gone now. So I need six. One, two, three, four. I think I need five. Four, five. And of course, you know, I, I want to see there. He's, this guy's starting to get the little. Ch I don't know what they call it. They have a special name for the, it. The, the using Chunking. term. Yeah, chips. They, chipping. Chipping. Up. Yep. Yeah. This one's starting to get it right here. Yeah, right on his dorsal. Yeah. Beautiful. And, um, and by the way, when we measure fish, we include the tail. Some of my customers don't. That just doesn't make sense to me. Well, I could cut it off for them. Right. And say, yeah, there you go. 
but you know we include the tail as part of the fish I don't know sometimes like I said if I had more hair I'd yank it out but I have to admit I have excellent customers they're just you know they just like to get what they want to get okay so we're gonna get that we'll get one other type while we're standing over here and then we're gonna get something on the way back and then I'm gonna quit can you hold that for me or you just let it go and they'll all fall on the ground well um, I was hoping you were gonna grab it and okay put it on the are you gonna do the are you, behind you okay are you gonna redo that water over there yes uh, we usually turn the water off when we're catching so we can look so we're gonna get some I think I've got to get inch and a half front toes. Glenn, you got an I'm over here, just hold on. Bring me a bucket. He's over there yakking at me. I've got a net in this vault. I've got four buckets on the ground. Ah. And he's just yakking. I'm catching over here. Glenn, while I'm oh you can't do that. What a dumb man. Oh don't no, what a dummy. I was saying, Glenn. I'm, why... What'd you just say? I was what I was going to say was, hey, while I'm catching these fish, will why you... didn't you catch them by yourself? I was going to say, I was going to say, can you run over and get me Tamla's two nets? And then I said to myself, well, if you do that, how are you going to so I'm... film this? Because I'd like to check the exos. I mean, catch them while we're at it. These are F1 six stripers. Yep. Um, we have seven stripers over here too. But these are six stripers. I'm getting 10 for FB. And he'll get an extra one just because he's a great customer. All my customers are great. So anyway, I'm looking for inch and a half. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. I'm not hurting these fish. Hold them like this. Eight. Don't be going. Oh, he's holding his hand. Nine. Okay, and then one, ten, and one to grow on. We always do this, you know. Some, I mean, no matter how good we pack, no matter how good the airline does, I'm gonna grab two nets. And I need a bucket over there. I, I'm something always happens. So you know they get covered. These are these are Tamla's nets with the orange markings. You dare not, you dare not take these and take them anywhere else. Because if she catches you, you get the evil look. And it's evil. No, I'm just kidding you. She's just... Neither one of us at our age want to chase around looking for what we need. So sometimes I have to scream. And like I said in one of my videos before, I have, so one of my favorite words is the F-bomber. I perfected the use of it. But when I'm over here working... Did you catch any? Yes. Because I see like a whole bunch back in the back over there. Well, I, do you, have you enough? think I'm stupid or something? How many do I need? Uh, and you're asking me how well, many Well, the list is need. right there by you. Yeah. <laughs> but Let's you know. see. XO, 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 XO. You need six 2.5 inch XO. Okay. Now, you know what I'm saying about these nets and being where I want them to be. We're right now, we're probably 250 feet from the warehouse. So if I'm catching fish over here for, you know, normally here, normally what happens is I catch them and I have five or six extra bucket. Glenn Hall's in there. Everybody has somebody working with them. And they, somebody's carrying them in. Somebody keeps catching. Let's have a look at those. Oh, we did a video on the breeders. Exochromus anagenes. That's bigger than two and a half. Yeah, those are three inches. But, you know, it's what I caught, so that's what he's going to get. I very, very rarely does somebody say, although it does happen, hey, I ordered this size and you sent me this size. 
because that happens because maybe they, like I, sometimes I have to tell my guys, um, people are expecting a certain size for a certain size tank. And if you send them something that, and I didn't see it, um, they may say, well, you know, I'm planning on putting these 18 Borlei in a, well, that little, that, I can't do that. That little teeny one in there, even though it's free, I can't send that guy. I got I to catch again. Um, even though uh, they don't, what happens is, they're all um, back over yeah. here. They don't, the, the customer's not prepared for it. So you may say, well, wouldn't they be happy to get larger fish? Well, yeah, in some situations, no, but, no, 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 no. but yeah, in some situations, absolutely not. So every now and then I have to say, hey guys, you're gonna have to go re-catch these guys. No good. But they're, they're so excellent at it, you know, it's just, it's unbelievable. We've got a great crew here, fortunately. Like I said, sometimes I haven't been out back to see what's going on out there in a long time. And they tell me what's going on and I just count on it. I send them, I give them the price list every couple of weeks, say scratch off, add on. Like wax on, wax off, Karate grasshopper. Kid. Well, that was grasshopper was in, not in. Um, Karate Kid, wax on, wax off. Yeah, but what, grasshopper was in that movie with Keith Carradine. Remember? Okay, you're showing your age, Biro. <clears throat> hey, some of this stuff is really great. Like, if you if you people have never seen To Kill a Mockingbird, go get it. One of the best movies ever put out. Wonderful. So here we go. Glenn's gonna grab that bucket. I don't think, if there's nothing in that bucket, Glenn, that's what I'm gonna use to catch it. So you want uh, me to keep yapping while we're going, or are you gonna grab that empty bucket? Can yeah, we'll catch up at the next one. Okay. Hey, we're in a different area of the farm right now. Like I call this my area. But, um, oh, let me, let me just show you something. <clears throat> the guy who sent in the, Yesterday, note, you can't be feeding your trophies that extreme 1.5 only. And I said, well, yeah, I do. But these are the wild ones that came in if you watch Tanganyika. Or I've not, I have not been in here since they came in because they were kind of skinnied up. But anyway, we're going to sort these next week. And these are the, the um, Icola-type fish. And that's all they've been eating is extreme. They've, they've fattened up. Nobody's bloated up but we're not overfeeding either. So anyway, we're gonna go through those. We're gonna go through these foe next week. And I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with these gold sex fasciatus. That's a great fish. It's a terrible, well, it's a weird breeder. It'll either breed like a fly or it won't breed at all. And it'll, sometimes it'll breed one time and then hold off for six months. Kind of like trets, very similar fish. But anyway, these are Albino Eureka Jakes. Now remember, this is not a hybrid. This is a natural occurring fish, and you will never, see, you probably won't see many albinos in the wild because think about sitting out there looking like this. Who do you think the predator is going to go after? Beautiful, isn't it? So two of them. I think it's two, Glenn. Can you see my list over there? Two Eureka Jake, Albino Eureka. Yeah, two Albino two. Eureka. Let me just see this guy. He looked like he had a maybe messed up eye. Okay. Yep, there's the second one. Albino Eureka Jake. Red eye, everything. Not a hybrid. Okay, we're going to go over and help Tamla for a minute. Hey, I'm going to catch some Firefin compressor saps. This is my area here. Tamla's area. So. I'm going to pull. Do you want me to pull the nets for you? Or are you going to do it? The whole thing. These, these to me, these nets, uh, these tanks are very. I don't know how Tama does it, but she's, she does it very well. Very seldom does she ever ask for any kind of help. But here's your little bucket. Now you can be talking yourself, Tama. You know. Okay. Well, what is this, Tama? Where'd this come from? That's their house. I put it in there because it just makes them feel a little bit safer. 
And then when they were. Now, this is an order that we have, and they're asking for inch, inch and a half. Now, I think that if you order an inch, inch and a half, I'm going to give you what you asked for, or oh. better. So, are you going to put 12 in here and divide them yeah. and get inside? Two, three, quattro. This is Sesame Street. Yeah. The count. See, you, you said one thing diverted and you lost count. I know it. I, I know can, it. I can go off and do a tangent. Glenn's already reprimanded me because I've gone off on two tangents. He's telling me stuff like, well, we're running out of battery power. And I'm going to give him an extra one. Yeah, yeah. Just to help him with brake and stuff like There's, that. Okay, you need, to, anyway, you, need two, you need two orders of 12. No, no, not that. That's somebody else's. For some well, then why do you have the same bucket? Well, because I have... Oh. Never mind. I'm gonna get another. One. I don't know how you put up with him. Okay. I really don't. Forty-seven years. No idea. Forty? How many? Forty. Forty-one. Forty-two years. Now. I thought you said forty-seven for a minute. <laughs> I would say, geez, it feels like forty-two or at least, but forty-seven. My gosh. All right, that's it. For what me. about the black calvus? Where are they? No, I'm not doing. Oh, I'm gonna catch. Uh, I have a customer that wants two large yellow calvus. They're beautiful, but you have to remember. Out here in the sunshine, they're going to be really, really yellow. When you first get them in, you know how they sometimes they turn brown, and well, they have to get adjusted to the tank. Give them a while, and they'll start prancing around and turning yellow. Yeah, it's like leaving the bar at midnight. What do you look like? Hey, but Tamla, didn't you put that big, nice yellow in the warehouse the other day? Yeah. So you. Now he's brown because he's hiding. But so you're only going to catch one. I'm only See, I had to remind her of that because. Even though she's the owner and the boss, I have to keep track of her. But these yellow calvus, these are very, uh, the, the area they come from in the lake is very, very difficult to get into. I, see you, that, how beautiful and yellow these are. Are you going to try for a female, by the way? These are gorgeous. No, why well, should I? Well, if, there, if you have a female, you've got a male, and you think you want, he wants two males. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking he does. So anyway, I'm going to ship that to him. Isn't he pretty? No, in the oh, I don't think I want to put them on with you. Right <laughs> so anyway, uh, now Tamla takes these in. <clears throat> Glenn's going to go with her. I'm going to stay out here and catch a few more fish by myself. Carry them by myself. Aww. Aww. With my With my hurt arm. By the way, if you haven't had your shingle shot, you're over 50. Get them. Oh, Worst thing in the world. Rabbit go. Hole. Yeah, well, it's a bad rabbit hole. So anyway, I don't know. Are you going to film for a while, Glenn? Are you going to walk? Or are you yes, just I'm walking. Sit there and waste my battery. Well, I, what did you say? You could buy a larger battery. I don't like being filmed from the back side. <clears throat> okay, Rick is covering you because it's. I got plenty to cover head. you with. Yeah, my, yeah, true. Let me show you the yellow tablets that I brought in the other day. Now, you remember what this yellow tablet looks like? Let's see. As this guy, but see what I'm talking about? He's scared, he's trying to get adjusted to the tank. But once you get him in your tank, he's gonna be gorgeous. So here he goes, that's his new home for now. All right, thanks, Tam. Did you get her? What you got going on? I'm looking for a four inch trout and I just, I, I'm thinking I'm mistaking. Those are not trouts, those are buco. And the other one was Christy eye down the road. Are you sure? I believe so. Now this, what's? Those, those are, are those are trout, inch. small. Yeah. I don't know if I have a four inch trout. I, I meant to take them off the list. Did not do it. Those are Christy eye. Redfin obliques or zebra obliques. What's this? Ba babies, babies, babies. These are totes. We call them totes. They're what? Um, they're what? Uh, syrups. The stuff. Everything. Yeah, and everything. Lotion, syrup, we cut. Honey. We cut the tops off of them. And use. It's them. an inexpensive way to. Um, yeah. 
we're always needing space here and we have to get it sometimes as fast as we can these, are these these are not champs are they glenn no are you sure yep i'm gonna look anyway because okay, okay. what, what are we gonna put a bet on it sure how much well we never pay each other well Just make it a thousand dollars well yeah two hundred dollars trouts no trouts that's not a trout that's tell a, me that's a trout no nope. that's a champ <clears throat> that's a champ spilarinkus cool nice although and you I'm, know what i did i did actually I think I saw one trout in there. Then I won a thousand, which we will not, I'm not gonna get. But. And it's the ones that are like going crazy, crazy. These are like three in. Nope. Oh, oh. No. Yep. No, we've got them in the um, row nine one. Nine one I know, but I just, I one. don't think that they're, I don't think I feel comfortable calling them four inch why well because you know we always oversize so I feel bad if it's really four inch so well maybe if we get rid of one of these 27 tanks of zebra obliques what is this right we'll here? have That's room for there. yeah yeah well I'm hanging on to them totally for breeders once we go yeah, through we have to once we go through them for breeders then we'll sell them. But I need breeders this year. We didn't, this with their floor. Okay, let's go down to number nine one and we'll take a look. If I don't feel, I feel like it's okay. Oh, be careful. You know, I was walking along this water. It was people say, why don't you pour this? Well, I like all these gambusia running around in here. This is my mosquito prevention because there's never gonna be a mosquito larvae living out here. That's for sure. Are they on this row, Glenn, or one no, more row? one over. And then sometimes it's a little rough walking here because at night the raccoons, they reach underneath there and pull rocks out looking for crayfish and stuff. Yeah, you know, not only do we have the gambuza, I mean, there's just all kinds of fish, but we, we have crustaceans, we have yeah. crawfish, we have clams. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's really amazing. It's really like, you know, a lot of people come out of here and they're more fascinated by what's on the ground than, I mean, they're amazed by it. Because I know we've got, in one part of the farm, we've got endlers, which, you know, I don't even know how they got here. And, you know, people come here to collect them. And I'm going, what are you kidding me? See, I don't, you think, this tank hasn't been drained. You think I can get a bike? You got your... I'm thinking the one in the back, and then you can give them the secret on how we measure. Yeah. So here. Dollar bill. We folded, a, a dollar bill folded in half equals three inches. You're right, and so then we, we just kind of like that this. down to equal four. And awesome. that's how we measure. There's Tamla going by. Hey, babe, what you doing? What's going on? What are you saying? What do you got Zoom. to say? There she goes. Four inch. I... Wait, wait. We didn't catch it on camera. Oh, we're gonna be running out of battery because I'm like the ever ready. You're at 11. percent I'm the ever ready. Don't shut up. Do you want to help you catch that fish? In no, the I want to switch in there and squish him. Because he's squishy, squishy. There's my son. He's there. defying me. So we'll see. And again, you didn't measure it. Look at that. I'm going to dump it through and measure it. But I'm thinking I'm not going to sell any more of these because I think I might have to save them for breeders. Of course, these things have to be. 10 inches long to breed, but I'm going for this one right here. And these guys are squigglers, man. They, yeah, four there inch. We, there we go. And I'll, keep, and I'll keep the dollar. Ah, nice go. try, Biro. All right, we're running out that's of battery. A dollar, that's a dollar I owe so you we're gonna, for We're going to change, change up the, the batteries and, and um, catch back up with the next fish. Say goodbye. Are we catching more fish on this? Say goodbye. Goodbye. I don't know if I have enough, but I need 25, but I'm, a, I'm doing a quick clean out on them. Usually we like to uh, run through every area each week and drain. I say we, I don't have a mouse in my pocket. But anyway, let me see if I got 25. And then this will be the last thing we catch here. 
and then I'll get me to shut up. These are those Fino Star Sapphires male we caught a while ago. These are juveniles. Maybe 25. Yeah, there is. One of those big cylindricas left Cylindricas left in, the, left in here. You know, it happens. We clean the tank out, but they make it. They live one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have to restock this tank. Eight, nine, ten. You see there's different sizes in here. 11, 12, 13. Um, I don't, I, 14, 15. I'm trying to give several sizes because that's male. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Because if I went through and pulled out all of this size, it might be all males. So it's 24, 25. But if I throw, these are probably the females. They're not going to grow the same rate. And I get three extra. That way, when they sell them, chances of getting pairs. All right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed that. Let's head to the warehouse. We're going. Hi. Now, I'm going to go catch some ocelotus. I am known as the gold ocelotus whisperer, but they may be mad at me right now because I just changed their tank, and so I don't know. Show them so these I right here, though, babe. These are your breeders for... No, these aren't breeders. These are just... They're going to be breeders. Figures. They're going to be breeders. But usually when she comes up here and does this, they all come running out. They, they know her. But here's my ones that I sell, and they may be mad at me. They may not come up. mad at her. They got the brain power to be mad. Hey, I can get them to come up here. And she also named herself the Ocelotus Whisperer. <laughs> it might be because I feed them. I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see what we can do. How many does it say I have to A have? dozen. I think it was a dozen. Okay, here they are, some of them. And I got four. Now, you may say those are really small. Oh, my goodness. Again, that's every fish has a size on it. These guys don't get that big, so this is not a small fish for gold. And these are the real thing. These are the real gold ones. Uh, Other some, people have gold. Are they pretty? So other They're people say they have gold ocelotus. Oh, here's their friend and with him. He's a little compressive stuff. He grew up with them. Okay. Their friend. And 12. And no extra. No extra on They're gold too ocelotus. hard to breed. Do you know who these are for, Tim? <laughs> Uh, I think um, DA. Hey, um, when we put these guys in the tank, we don't dump them. No. We put them in here. Tim, we get your top. We put them in here, and we put them under a, a flow of air, of water, and we put this like this. That's so because they don't they're too. Hard, they're, we don't want the guys catching them. And then what we do is we lower this, so they automatically know when they put the bags on that the, fit, the bag up here is that in the bucket. And we do that for many fish. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed our catching <laughs> fish. Um, if you do, please like it. And if you have any comments, any questions, please ask us. And for sure, subscribe. And it's been yes. a minute. Hope you enjoyed it. Yes. Bye-bye. See you all next time.